In an interview with Confidential via the New York Daily News, Carrie Fisher's brother Todd Fisher confirmed she will make an appearance in the final Star Wars movie of the new trilogy. Todd revealed that Disney bosses wanted to bring back General Leia for Episode 9, so both he and Carrie's daughter, Billy Lord, granted the studio rights to use unused footage from Episode 7 and 8. Todd also clarified that the use of CGI will not be used to recreate Leia. To what extent Leia will figure into the storyline is unclear at this time with Todd saying I'm not the only part in that equation but I think the people deserve to have her you don't mess with this legacy it would be like rewriting the bible to me Star Wars is the holy grail of storytelling and lore and you can't mess with it Perry thoughts on using unused footage to bring back General Leia in episode 9 in Disney, Lucasfilm and the filmmakers I trust so if they think this is the right approach that's fine by me I'm kind of not one to judge because I don't know what the story is for episode eight or episode nine, but as a huge fan of Carrie Fitcher and as someone who respects her legacy and the legacy of that character in the franchise, I guess I can suppose that this is the right way to go about it. It's a very touchy topic. We obviously have limited, we have cut out the possibility of recreating her digitally, which I think is very appropriate, but still you're left in the position where you need to figure out how to appropriately wrap up that character's run in the series where it both serves her legacy and is respectful but also serves the story they need to tell because the series needs to continue. So if they have the footage that can make it work where they can potentially manipulate the stories in episode eight and episode nine to make it work and give her character a satisfying conclusion. I am totally behind this. Yeah, and Lucasfilm seems to really have her best interest in mind and her estate's best interest. So if you're using footage that has already been shot that she did for another scene, whether it's episode seven or episode eight, I would have to assume, and I would hope like you, Perry, that we're putting our faith in them because it's going to serve the story well and we're not going to feel weird or it's not going to be too jarring. It's going to be able to fit in with the story that they want to tell. And Jeremy, even when we saw Rogue One, Gareth Edwards being able to go back and look at footage from the original New Hope that was not used. So he got to go in there and look at some of the Rebel pilots. Now again, that's a Rebel pilot that we cheered when we saw them, mm -hmm. and they had maybe a different line, so it wasn't too much in the way of actually serving the story, but I thought it was a nice nugget in Rogue One, and if they go further down that path with somebody as crucial as General Leia, do you think that's the right play? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, they did that in Gladiator. It's funny, it was the second Gladiator yeah. reference you get, but that uh, the guy Oliver who, Reed. Yeah, he had died before Gladiator was done, mm -hmm. so they took some of his uh, moments here and shuffled them to there. I mean, superimposed. And that was like 15 years ago, 16 right. years ago. Was it 17 years ago? Uh. All right, well, I'm old, and that's just all <laughs> you need to know. But the point is, they did it. And so I, I feel like if there's enough to give her that resolution and conclusion, that's great. This was only a couple scenes they had with this dude. I don't know how much Leia we're going to get, but if they made a Leia centric story, which probably has to do with her kid. I, I would like to see resolution rather than like, yeah, Leia's somewhere else on this other world, so let's continue the adventure. That is the wrong way to go about it. You don't ride her out in the opening crawl or anything like that. You have to do what you have to do. I think uh, using some of the old footage to finish up her story is the right call. And personally, if I can say a personal, I've been looking forward to a Bible special edition rewrite for a very long time. Look for <laughs> Centaur's Luke and a Master Sword. That's all I want in Bible EX special edition alpha. So a lot of books in the Septuagint. Mm. We're just going to Keep expanding right. it, man. It's going to be a big Bible when it's the King Jeremy version. Now, Schnepp, when we look at the, the landscape of the new trilogy, it seems like a lot of it is going to be the Kylo Ren arc, and the way to close that potentially could be a redemption of that character right. with his mother, but now it's going to be very tough to do that. Do you think that there's too much pressure on the Carrie Fisher or the General Leia character that we're going to be so expecting something, and that actually is going to hamper their ability to use footage in episode nine? I don't think so. I think, I mean, to me, when Kylo Ren, spoilers if you haven't seen Force Awakens, <laughs> when he kills his father, uh, that redemption went out the door. I mean, for I, me, it did. Yeah, for me, I, I've seen no redemption for Kylo Ren other than his death, because that's, you just don't do that to Han Solo. So, um, I went. Unfortunately, when I first heard about Carrie's death, I was really bummed out. Once I started thinking about after, you know, her and her mom's death right after. I mean, mm -hmm. it was so tragic and horrible. Later in the, later in the, after, you know, after that month of uh, ugliness, I was like, well, I wonder what they're going to do with, uh, with uh, Star Wars. And it makes sense to think about, well, they've already shot. And I heard that episode eight had a lot of Carrie-centric stuff in it. 
it would make sense that they move some of those scenes over to episode nine and do what kind of they possibly did with Oliver Reed and also Brandon, Brandon Lee in The Crow and reconstitute and refigure some situations and scenes around. And, and I think that they're, that's what they're doing. They're, they're figuring it out and they're using some of the footage that was shot for episode eight and moving that over to episode nine, which that to me makes the most sense. Like if she had like eight scenes in episode eight, now she's got five and they're moving three of them over to episode nine and refiguring out that story element for episode nine because it gives them a little bit more time. Yeah, and it's nice to hear from her brother and her daughter on this issue as well, because it's one thing if it's a movie studio saying we're going to use this footage and put it in here, but hearing that it's her estate's wishes and that it's probably what Carrie Fisher would have wanted puts me at ease. And like Perry said, I have faith in Lucasfilm to do the right thing in telling their story. If she can be in service of that, I think we're all going to be very satisfied. And it's a fitting legacy at the end of the day.